obviously I'm Paige, okay? I want people to know that I'm a good person, even though like it doesn't show up on the outside. I'm a good person on the inside when I want to be. One of my big goals is to like stay out of trouble in the future so I don't get sent to jail or anything like that. When I grow up, it's like what I want to be, like either a lawyer or a teacher. Like I gotta pick one of them because I can't do them both at the same time. And to like get a good job that pays good money so I can buy a house. And if I have children sometime in the future, that they will have everything that I don't. Obviously, I gotta finish high school, get a diploma, I mean. Don't like let other people bother me and like get in the way of me learning what I was supposed to. It's hard because like you're scared you're gonna be the one that's gonna get picked on and everything. And then like if you get picked on, you feel like you're gonna blow up. Like every class I'm in, somebody's stupid and doesn't shut up. And it just really ticks me off and irks my nerves because let me do my work and I'll let you do yours. But apparently you don't wanna do your work. You wanna fail that class and not pass eighth grade. The type of like relationship I have with Mr. Walker is more of like a family-ish type bond. Like I get along with him really well. I feel like I can talk to him about anything. He's like a second father to me. He understands me, I think, more than anybody else can. When I'm mad or something, I feel like I just want to punch somebody in the face. He like helps me get through that. He's kind of like a mentor in a way. In my opinion, he's perfect. Well, I'm not going to say perfect because he's just not good at math. I was first introduced to Paige when she was a sixth grader. When she got into some trouble, she stole a pair of, of jeans. Basically, she put her name in, in the pants with a permanent marker. So she was charged with misdemeanor theft um, and destruction of property. So she had to go through the peer court program. In lieu of having a child who was charged with a crime at school to go straight to regular court, we have what's called peer court and that child has to go in front of a, basically a jury of their peers and in Paige's situation she had to do 15 hours of community service. Um, she had to write a letter of apology. There was restitution involved where she had to pay back $50. Instead of going to court and that child having a record that follows them you know until they're 18, we try and make them learn um, from their mistake. So we try and straighten it up on the, on the school level. Paige has made a lot of progress with her attitude. It still comes back, but in the sixth grade, I would say she was angry, defiant. She wouldn't listen to people. When she got to the seventh grade, things started to change um, for the better. She just made a lot of great progress. This year, she's gone on and she tried out for the cheerleading squad. I think she's got more friends as a result of it. She's become more popular in school. Sports, regardless, it doesn't matter if it's chilling or not. It like just helps me keep my grades up because I know if I get below a C average, you won't be able to go to a game or something and cheer or whatever. And then if that happens, then some of our groups can't stunt. And since I'm the base, I gotta be there. So that makes me keep my grades up so I don't get in trouble or whatever. Another thing to cheerleading is it's my muscles have grown too. Yeah. Cause like my arms used to be like this small. Everybody knows who Paige Lowry is, and we try and do whatever we can to help her. And that's what this program, Communities and Schools, is all about. That's what Peer Court is all about. Yes, she made a mistake. We all make mistakes. But what you do when you make that mistake um, is what's important.